So today I'm going to teach you how to make your shoes float. And for that I'm going to use the React element for the shoe. And the two ways we're going to show you how to do it. The first one is some fishing wire, which you can get for about £2 on the internet. And the second one is literally holding it in your hand and editing your hand out. So I'm going to set it all up now and show you what to do. So that's all set up. As I said, I'm just actually using that because it's easier. You can just put two chairs up and put a stick or something across it. It just needs something to tie the fishing wire to and then to the shoe. So let's do that. So that's all set up. Now all you need to do is take some pictures of it. I'd probably say like a faster shutter speed as it keeps spinning round, or you can just put some more fishing wire on like underneath the toe and attach it to the top. As I'm going to show you the second way for that, I'm going to set up my backdrop because it's ten times easier to edit your hand out of it. Let's do it. So that's all set up. What you're going to need is a camera stand that this is on because you're going to need to take two images of literally exactly the same position. One with just the shoe there and the background, the other one with the shoe there and you holding the other one so you can edit your hand out after. So now we've got both the photos, let's go onto the laptop and edit them. Photos, I'm going to show you what to do with the first one that we took. All you're going to do is go over to this right here. You want the spot healing brush. There's the tree. I'm going to do it in small bits or it'll get confused. Like that, I get confused with things. About Tiny bit there. And there we go. No shoes are floating. It is a bit harder. What you do is switch that to a layer. And I've got both photos open. You just drag that one into here. Maybe to go on to this bit and change the one you just put in. Ooh, I don't want that. Deselect. Just make sure they line up properly. But since they're taking the same they'll just they should just be exactly the same as snap on. And pretty much all you're gonna do is select that layer. The top one that's got your hand on it. Go to the eraser. 
make it out a bit bigger. So, make it close to the shoe. A bit smaller. So, it gets as close as you can. I don't want to see any of the left. Notice that bit. You can see it's a slightly different colour than it was. Go on to brightness, right click on there, create a clipping mask so it only affects that layer. And that ain't the layer I want to change. Go down. as possible then merge all your layers together the last thing we'll do is to get rid of this that's all highlighted edit content to our fill That should work it out itself. Oops, except for that bit. Let's get a patch tool for that. There you go. One floating shoe.